Hello and a very warm welcome to yet another interesting edition of the program, CAC Weekly. CAC Weekly is a program that keeps you abreast on the activities and the achievement of the Corporate Affairs Commission. My name is Amina Jibril. Now coming up on CAC Weekly, participants in Nigeria Texas Exchange applaud CAC reform initiatives. Also, CAC offers on-the-spot registration at Nigeria Diaspora Investment Summit. Plus, Register General restates commitment to make CAC state offices operate at par with the head office. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break. To some of the information that contains the personal information of these directors. Things like their actual date of birth, their signatures, their means of ID. So, in place of CAC 7 and CAC 2, and because submissions are now made electronically, you are only uploading the signature. So, and this, these signatures usually appear on the memorandum and articles, not on the forms. So we generate a report and certify that this is the true extract of the company as at the day we are issued. And that should suffice, because what else do you want to know? So you may want historical information. So we have the window for historical search. That one has to be done manually, because we have not captured every information from the inception of the company's date. And another challenge we are facing has to do with the integrity of the information in that areas. That's why we have to issue a caution. We've advised most of you to apply to update and to send a request to SPU to update the information. Because until this year, only new registration services were done online. When you change your directors, when you increase your share capital, when you file your returns, all these things are done offline. And there was no system in place for updating the database as these filings were made. So we had a situation where there is a gap between what is in the electronic database and what is contained in these files. What we do when we are updating is to get the file, update the information as a date, and you will have the information of the company based on the last filing that were made by the company. So without the updates, if you try to do any application, maybe the directors have changed, and that has not been reflected in the database. It may give you a wrong information. So we encourage you to please don't wait until you have a transaction. Just send the request. We know our clients. We know those we are dealing with. Send a request to SPU. They will pull out the file, update the information. When they do that, whenever you have anything, then you will have a seamless transaction. And for the first time, we are indicating the status of these companies. Some of you have complained also that you have filed a return of the date. Why is your status showing in that? Well, it's the same issue. Most of these files were made manually. And until you make a request, we will not know whether you have filed returns of the date. Because we have over 5 million records of different entities, companies, business names, and incorporated trusts. Welcome back to the program. Let's begin today with a report on our youth. Now, the Registrar General of the Corporate Affairs Commission, Al Haji Garba Abubakar, has harped on the need for Nigerian youth to be selfless, God fearing, avoid cutting corners, and live by the rules. Alaji Garba Abubakar stated this while receiving members of the National Youth Service Corps Badge B Stream 1A and B on a farewell visit to his office. The Registrar General, who noted with satisfaction their orderly conduct while observing their mandatory one year national service with the Commission, charged them to continue to show commitment and dedication in their future endeavors. He once again harped on the need for them to relate with what he called people of good character, ideas and aspirations as they were crucial to ensuring success in their respective engagements. Speaking earlier, on behalf of the outgoing members of the National Youth Service Corps Badge B Stream 1 A and B, Joy Alimu, applauded the reform initiatives being implemented by the Commission and added that the core members have benefited immensely from the mentorship and support of the Registrar General during their stay in the CAC. 
Joy Alimo used the forum to pray for continued success for the commission and pledged to continue to maintain good conduct as well as good ambassadors for the CAC. Now, CAC Weekly reports that highlights of the visit included photograph sessions. Now, moving on to our next reports, the fourth edition of the Nigeria Diaspora Investment Summit, NDIS 21, has kicked off in Abuja with the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, in attendance to, amongst others, provide on-the-spot registration services. The event was convened by the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NITCOM, under the leadership of Honorable Abike Dabiriarewa, in collaboration with Nigeria Diaspora Summit Initiative. NDIS 21 with the theme, Partnership and Linkages for Post-COVID Economic Growth, is projected to record 3,000 participants, 15 speakers and 60 pitches, both physical and hybrid. The event held at the State House Banquet Hall, Aso Villa, Abuja, drew participants from various sectors of the economy, which include health care, education, oil and gas, ICT and fintech, as well as manufacturing, amongst others. The summit was declared open by the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbaja, represented by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Abbas Mustafa, who urged potential investors to leverage on the enormous investment opportunities available in Nigeria. In a welcome address, the Chairman and CEO of NITCOM, Honorable Abike Dabriarewa, said the summit would provide a platform where diaspora investors can interact with potential sponsors partners, collaborators, and government officials. Abike Dabriarewa added that the summit was aimed at creating avenue for prospective and sustainable diaspora investment to help boost economic resurgence in Nigeria post-COVID-19. Among the several speakers at the event were the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment State, Ambassador Mariam Yalwaji Katagum, Babatunde Raji Fashala, the Minister of Works, and Kebi State Governor Abubakar Atiku Bagudu. The CAC Pavilion received visitors, particularly those wishing to register businesses on the spot. Climax of the two-day event was a gala night on Wednesday, 17th November 2021. Still on investments and employment opportunities, we move on to Nasarawa State for our next report. The Registrar General of the Corporate Affairs Commission, Al Haji Garba Abu Bakr, has stated the Commission's readiness to partner with state government as they make efforts to provide entrepreneurship skills to the teeming unemployed youth in the country. Now, Alaji Garba Abu Bakr stated this shortly after participating at a job fair of the 2021 Employability and Entrepreneurship Training Program for 100 Youth of Nasarawa State, organized by the state government, held at the Aliu Akwedoma Banquet Hall, Government House, Lafia. Represented by the Director of Public Affairs, Mr. Duku Kaga, the Registrar General applauded the Nasarawa State Human Capital Development Office for organizing the event, which he said would go a long way in encouraging entrepreneurship as well as drastically reducing unemployment in the state. Earlier, while declaring the event open, the Nasarawa State Deputy Governor, Emmanuel Akabe, stressed that the participants upon completion of their training would attract employers participating in the scheduled job fair. He added that they would automatically start businesses of their own as well as become employers of labor. Emmanuel used the forum to applaud the Nasarawa State Human Capital Development Office, Oxfam Nigeria, and Poise Graduate Academy for the successful training of the 100 youth on employability and entrepreneurship skills. He described the training exercise as successful considering his interactions with the participants drawn from across the 13 local government areas of the state. The Nasarawa State Deputy Governor also commended the participants for their determination and commitment towards improving their knowledge. 
In Harry Mack, Senior Special Assistant to the Governor Abdullahi Suley on Human Capital Development, Habiba Balarabe Suleiman noted with delight the successful training of the beneficiaries, stressing that they have acquired 21st century skills to make them employable and self-reliant. She therefore described the event as an amazing experience with wonderful testimonies. Some of the participants who spoke to CAC Weekly commended the state government for the training and pledged to put into practice the employability and entrepreneurship skills acquired. From the Sarawa State, we go outside our shows to bring our next report. Participants at the Nigeria-Texas Exchange have applauded the reform initiatives of the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, under the leadership of the Registrar General, al Haji Garba Abubakar. This indication was given during a presentation tagged Business Registration in Nigeria at the Nigeria-Texas Exchange held at the Hyatt Regency, Houston, Texas, United States of America. Speaking at the event, al Haji Garba Abubakar, represented by Tulu Lokbe Adiola Shonaike, the Assistant Director of Registry, highlighted the Commission's reform initiatives aimed at making the Commission operate at par with its global peers. I would like to quickly talk about um, the kind of business forms that you can, as you can adopt when you want to register business in Nigeria and um, the platform, the common registration portal that is available for doing so. Now, by way of introduction, um, let me state that business registration in Nigeria is administered and regulated by the Corporate Affairs Commission. The Corporate Affairs Commission is an agency of the federal government and it's the corporate registry in Nigeria. Now, the Corporate Affairs Commission was uh, established under the Companies and Allied Matters Act, um, 1990. The same act has been repealed and um, reenacted as Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020. And the 2020 act has saved everything that was done by the 1990 act. Now, what are legal business forms that are available in Nigeria? Like in other countries too, we have companies we have um, limited liability partnerships, we have limited partnerships, and we have business names. Now, companies, the first three, that's the companies, the limited liability partnerships, the limited partnerships, and business names are solely regulated and administered by the Corporate Affairs Commission. The event was interactive as the CAC entertained questions from the audience. Questions from the young man. And how many people call you that? I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> but the young man, I'm the honorable minister. Um, um, address um, user visibility and um, uh, engagement with the uh, general public on these reforms. Uh, we actually have a number of um, outlets where we uh, engage the general public on these reforms. We push them out every time. Every time there is a reform, we do a publication. We have several publications, at least five five national newspapers, I will push them out. Beyond that, there is um, a weekly program called the CAC Weekly on TVC that we do every week. Trust me, I, 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 I am it and I explain some of those reforms there too. My registrar general does also sometimes. But every week it is there, we take these issues one by one and what we um, observe over time as customer challenges, we address them and try to work them through it. Beyond that, uh, because of the uh, uh, realities of COVID, there's uh, little we can do by way of gathering people together so much. But notwithstanding that, we go from state to state. In fact, I was talking with my colleague, and my colleague is there with uh, Mary Togo. Um, she's there uh, sitting and just camera in. <laughs> because again, um, what we're doing today, we must also push it out on that program for the next edition. It's a weekly program coming up from, it comes up on Wednesdays. TVC 3.30 to 4, um, uh, 4 p.m. I don't know whether those who are here can access TVC by cable. And for those of you who are from Nigeria, you can be part of it and still spread the news, you know, to go further. Um, like I was saying, we still go to states, state by state. We'll be going out once I get back to Nigeria and we'll get back, going, back, going out again in December. We'll do that quarterly to engage stakeholders in the states and also talk about the reforms and give them updates of what we have done from the last time we engaged. So we are doing a lot, really, uh, by way of uh, communicating our reforms to the general public. Then on the visibility and uh, user experience and how to improve, um, 
I said when I was making that presentation that there is the online customer support center. Then on the usability and uh, user experience and how to improve, um, I said when I was making that presentation that there is the online customer support center. Now that center affords you uh, the opportunity to share your experience and whatever the challenges are, we help you walk through them. And it's not just to share, but to tell us what the challenges are. We're also open to ideas. You know, um, we've had a few from people who are co uh, uh, computer savvy uh, suggesting that rather than do it this way, you can do it this way. And we tried, we tried them and they worked and we adopted them. So from time to time, we have, um, we, we, we go through the uh, record of uh, customer challenges and see how we can improve them. There are also help lines. But that explains some of the reasons why we said, okay, let us reduce our operations, manual operations to the very minimum. So today, for post incorporation, there are just a few, about three operation processes that are manual. Every other thing is online, right? And uh, but um, having said that, I was we are interested in interrogating this particular application. So I will see you, sir, after this to collect the details of this uh, application. CAC Weekly reports that speakers at the event include the Deputy Head of Mission, Embassy of Nigeria, Minister of State, Niger Delta Affairs, Director of Trade and International Affairs, Mayor's Office, amongst others. And back home, we now talk security matters. The Registrar General of the Corporate Affairs Commission, Al Haji Garba Abubakar, has described as apt the training of the Commission's executive staff on security matters at a time when the nation was bedeviled by security challenges. The Registrar General was speaking at a two day training on security and security consciousness for a directorate cadre of CAC saying that the event would afford participants the opportunity to acquire skills to guide and prevent themselves from unwarranted situations. He therefore challenged the participants to utilize the knowledge acquired as well as pass it on to their subordinates who also need to enhance their security both within and outside their environment. Al Haji Garba Abu Bakr therefore commended the organizers of the training for what he called putting together seasoned resource persons to facilitate the event. Now, CAC Weekly reports that the training was conducted in three batches. And we now move on to show you how to register an incorporated trustee on the company's registration portal CRP as enshrined in the Kama 2020, alias the Game Changer. Do enjoy watching this. Hello Nigeria! Registering your business is very important and you can do it yourself. It's easy! The Corporate Affairs Commission CAC has upgraded and launched its registration portal. The portal is end-to-end -end and it allows for self-service by customers. The new features include one-man company registration, printing of certificate of registration by customers anywhere around the world, Recognition of electronic signature. Integration of data submission and document upload for seamless transaction. Introduction of QR code on certificates and other documents for instant verification. Disclosure parameters for persons with significant control PSC in registered corporate business according to the new company's law 2020. Protection of restricted and personal information of promoters and officers of registered entities. Registration of an incorporated trustee on the new CAC registration portal. In this video, you will learn how to register an association or incorporated trustee with the Corporate Affairs Commission. Let's begin. Step 1. Log on to pre.cac.gov.ng and log into your portal. If you do not have an account, click on register on the top right corner of your screen to create an account. Step 2. On your dashboard, click on new name reservation. Pick incorporated trustees under classification. Enter your proposed names. Pick new incorporation as your reason for availability search. Click on apply for reservation code button. This will bring up the reservation code application process page. Step 3. Pick the classification of your association 1 and 2 and describe the association's classification. 
ensure you fill all fields marked with a red asterisk and click on save and continue. Step 4. On the constitution, specify the minimum or maximum number of trustees. Set the trustee tenure. Choose the custodian of the common seal. Choose the governing body of the association. State the application of funds. State how the account of the incorporated trustee will be kept, then click on save and continue. Step 5. Under aims and objectives, click on the add aim slash objectives button and state the aims or objectives of the association. Click the add button, then click on save and continue. Step 6. On the trustee. You must add at least two trustees or more to proceed and ensure you add a secretary to the body of trustees. To add a secretary, pick and fill in the details of your designated secretary or a trustee who will also act as a secretary. If the secretary is a designated secretary only, click the box labeled add as a secretary only after filling in the secretary's details. If a trustee will be acting as secretary, Click the box labeled Add Both Trustee and Secretary and click on Add Trustee and then click on Save and Continue. If you wish to hide the residential address of any of the trustees, click on the Hide Residential Address Toggle button. Ensure you fill all fields marked with a red asterisk and click on Save and Continue. Step 7. On the document upload, if there are supporting documents which will facilitate your application for a reservation code, scan and upload here. Then click on save and continue to preview. Preview your entries and if satisfied, click on save and continue to proceed to payment. You can now proceed to make a newspaper publication in at least one national daily and at least one local newspaper in local circulation in the locality where the association will be registered. Obtain and keep the hard copies of those publications. Registration. After your application for consent has been approved, log on to your dashboard and click on the reserved panel. Click the start registration button beside your reserved name. Step 1. Under Meetings, you can add different types of meetings and specify the quorum for each. Add your meetings and click on Save and Continue. Step 2. Under Source of Income, add the sources of income of the association and click Save and Continue. Step 3. Under Publications, fill in the details of the first and second newspaper publications you made and click on Save and Continue. Step 4. On the document upload, scan and upload the document labeled Yes and where the document labeled Optional applies to you, scan and upload, then click Save and continue to preview. Preview your entries and if satisfied, click on Save and continue to proceed to payment. When your registration has been approved, your certificate will be automatically generated on your registered panel where you can download and print We now invite you to watch out for this. The Corporate Affairs Commission is proud to partner with the Afro Hair Culture and Beauty Festival taking place on the 10th and 11th of December at the Transcorp Hilton Hotel Abuja. We understand that many lives and businesses have been affected negatively by the COVID-19 pandemic. CAC is simplifying the process for businesses to register at the festival on the spot. We will provide on-site registration decks which will help resolve common business registration complaints and concerns. I will also be speaking at this event giving greater insights on how you can successfully start up a business and succeed during and after the pandemic. CAC encourages all Nigerians to be a part of this great festival, to take advantage of all these opportunities and many more. So go on and visit www.africanheadsummit.org to register for free. We honestly can't wait to see you.
And that does it for this week's edition of the program CAC Weekly. We do hope you enjoyed watching. Remember, for comments and enquiries, you can please take advantage of our social media handles and our helplines. On Instagram and Facebook, it is Corporate Affairs Commission. Our email is cservice at cac.gov.ng. You can visit our website via www.cac.gov.ng. And our helplines are on the number 081-822-99016 or 081-822-98971, 090-874-01598 or 090-874-01599 and 090-874-01600. Do join us next week for yet another Rincrestin edition of the program, CAC Weekly. Same time and same station. From me, Amina Jabril, and the whole team here. It is bye for now.